Hey, welcome back to Stevie Tech. This is the channel where we do weekly app and game reviews. So definitely drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more great content. We'll start off this uh, game shout out with uh, some new things we've got here, some emulators. Uh, the first one we're going to go into is the Nostalgia NES emulator. And I'll pop on some Wizards and Warriors, kind of give you an idea. And of course the links to these apps are in the description as always. And as you can see, give you just a little bit of gameplay here on it. Now, of course, uh, this is the NES version, and uh, as you can see, uh, we've got some uh, interesting little gameplay here. As you can see, the launchers get your AB, of course, your, your directional pad, all your basic uh, NES stuff there. And we'll go ahead and give you an idea how that works. Now, of course, this is going to be the full game for you. Now, of course, um, we also have uh, another example here. We'll go out and give you an idea here with some Mario. I'll pop this on and uh, show you some gameplay here of just uh, some different examples of how you can play this in uh, landscape mode or portrait mode. Uh, this, of course, is going to be your portrait mode. Kind of give you an idea and let you go through it. Another really nice thing with this is it gives you the ability to save your game, especially on these NES ones. The only thing you have to do is just click the three dots up in the corner and select save game. Let's see, now with this... Um, we're going to go into, and I'll show you how to actually get and put these games on uh, any of your mobile devices or tablets. Kind of give you an idea of uh, some different games and stuff that you can put on here. Now, these are just two examples here with uh, this uh, first emulator we have here, which is the Nintendo emulator. And, of course, uh, there's going to be a vast majority of, of ROMs and games that you can actually download to put on these things. And I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of how you can actually use them and show off everything here. But we'll go ahead and uh, show some of the other games we've got listed here. Um, we've got, for example, uh, Mario Brothers 2, Mario Brothers 3, The Wizards and Warriors. Then we'll hop into the next one, which is actually going to be an app called FPSE Emulator. Now with this, this is actually a PlayStation uh, 1 emulator. I just kind of pop some uh, Chrono Cross RPG on here, give you an idea of the way this works. Now, of course, uh, all of your buttons are going to be on screen, as you see here. You've got your uh, directional buttons, as well as your triangle, circle, X, square, um, your right uh, trigger buttons, your left trigger buttons, and, of course, you have your L3 and R3 analog presses. Now, this is just going to go through and uh, run through just a little bit of gameplay for you, kind of give you an idea of how this is going to how this is going to work on there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and show you about how to, how to get these on here. First of all, uh, you're going to want to go to uh, the emuparadise.com. Uh, go ahead and just hop into the uh, the PS emulators here, and I'll show you how we do the Chrono Cross. Let's go ahead and search down through, and let us find the, uh, the title here. Let's see... Okay, there we go. We want to make sure we get the, uh, the English version as well. So, take a look here, and it's going to bring up a little description here, a little picture of, uh, that's, of course, uh, other people in the community have put up. And you're going to have a direct download link there. Go ahead and pull that up here. And you have to hit the direct download link. It's going to bring you to another page. So, we'll go ahead and do that, give you an idea of what we've got, what we're looking at. And it's going to bring up this page. Now, we actually scroll down and hit this page direct download link again and it's going to start downloading this for you. Now it's going to ask you what you want to save it as. So we'll go ahead and just save it as that. We'll go ahead and see if we can't get this downloaded and kind of give you an idea of how that's going to work out here on the, uh, the device. Now this typically is going to work with any Android device. Uh, iOS as far as I need to not offer emulators. But uh, we're also going to need another app here. Um, the app that, uh, that I use is going to be 7-Zipper. Uh, it's going to be a file explorer app that goes in and basically gives you the ability to uh, extract uh, different files from zip files. So we'll go ahead and pop that on here real quick for you. Okay, now with that, that's going to go through, and once that is downloaded, we're going to bring up the uh, the file explorer itself. Let's just have to wait out to finish installing. Okay, 
now that uh, now that we've got that done, we'll pop that open and uh, show you how to do this. You can see it's going to pop up its little uh, instructions here, and we'll go into uh, Chrono Cross. We'll go ahead and have it extracted to the same file. Once it is extracted, then uh, basically all we have to do is go back into the emulator and boot it up, and it's going to appear for you. But uh, as always, I do want to thank you for watching Stevie Tech. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hit. Check out the next playlist by tapping on the box.